There is a song that I love, and it says, um, Lord, I will lift mine eyes unto the hills. You know that one? Total praise. Anybody have a total praise in the house? A total praise. The song says, Lord, I will lift my
you start smiling. Smiling in the rain. Come on. Smiling in the rain. Hallelujah. That's the highest praise. We give to you, Jesus.
Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We give you all the praise, all the glory. Can you just say it with me this evening? Can you just say, Lord Jesus? Oh, you can do better than that. He's been better than you than that. He's been better than me than that. Can you just say with me tonight, Lord Jesus? Lord, our Father and our God, Lord, we just thank you tonight. Lord, we bless your holy name. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. From the rising of the sun till the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. So we came to praise you tonight. We came to magnify you. We came to glorify you. We came to lift you up tonight. For if you be lifted up from this earth, you told us you draw all men unto you. Lord, we thank you for drawing us right here and right now, Lord God. We know that you're drawing us because we're two or three are gathered together in your name. There you are in the midst of us, Lord. So we thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory, Lord, Father God. Thank you for your great mercies tonight. For we know that your mercies are new every morning. Your mercies are everlasting. Your truth endure to all generations, Lord. Letting us know our children will know the truth. Our grandchildren will know the truth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you for being the Lord of our lives. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you for being our great love. Thank you for being our provider, Lord Father. Thank you for healing our bodies, Lord God. Lord, we just say thank you tonight, Lord God. We give you the praise, Lord Father God, for allowing us to gather together. Here, you said how good and how pleasant it is for brethren and sisters to get, gather together in unity. Lord, we're one in you tonight, Lord God. So we bless your name, Lord. We lift up Actful Gospel Church to you right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Bless our bishop and first lady in their absence, Lord God. Continue to bind them together with love, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Father. Give them traveling mercies, Lord Father God. Bring them back home safe to us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for everybody coming here tonight, Lord God, all the saints in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we cease not to give thanks for Acts 4 Gospel Church, making mention of Acts 4 Gospel Church in our prayers that the Father of glory would grant unto Acts 4 Gospel all the word revelation and the knowledge of him that Acts 4 Gospel eyes being enlightened, that we would know the hope of our calling and the glory of our saints in the saints and the exceeding greatness that we wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and raised him at your right, own right hand in heavenly places and for this cause. Huh. 
we bow our knees unto the Father, which the whole of heaven and earth from name, they will grant actual gospel glory to God, to according to his marvelous glory in his inner man, to strengthen us in our inner man, that we being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the depth, the length, the breadth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ that passes all knowledge. Lord, we thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Now to him that's able, I don't know about nobody else, but he's able tonight. Hallelujah. To make all grace abound to us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you told us to be careful for nothing. But in all of our ways, through prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, if we make our request known unto God, you said your peace. Oh, glory, that surpasses all understanding. It guards our heart. It guards our mind through Christ Jesus. Lord, we love you tonight. We love you tonight, Lord God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for caring about us. We know that you love us, Lord, because you said you love the whole world, that you gave your only begotten son. If we can just believe on him, that we should not perish, but we should have life and life everlasting. Lord, I thank you for your great love tonight, Lord, for God. Lord, thank you for thinking about us. We know you think of us because you said the thoughts I have of you are good and not evil. They are prosperity and not poverty to give us an expected end, Lord. We thank you. Lord, we bless your name, Lord, Father God. Thank you for the rain this week, Lord, Father God, cleansing the airs, Lord, Father God, thank you for your healing power, for truly you were wounded for our transgressions, you were bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace is upon you, and by every stripe you took on Calvary, we're already healing. Ha, we're already healed in the name of Jesus. So you might as well go on and receive your healing right now, because the healer's here, hallelujah, he's here right now. You might as well go on and get, uh, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, Lord Father God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And we just come to say, Lord, we love you. We thank you, Lord Father God. Thank you for providing all of our needs according to your riches and glory, Lord Father God. We thank you, Lord God. And we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Isn't it a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord on Holy Ghost night? All right. We're going to be coming from Psalms 119. We'll be reading verses 105 through 112. I will start with 105. You will uh, proceed, follow me with 106, and we'll read all the way down and do that 112th verse together. Again, that's Psalms 105. Uh, Psalms 119, starting at verse 105. I'll give you a chance to get there. All right, when you have it, say, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Let us begin. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. Thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever for they are the rejoicing of my heart, and all together. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, doers, and hearers of his mighty word. Thank you, Jesus. There's such a sweet spirit in here. We give you glory, God, for meeting us. We never need thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. We give you glory, we give 
belongs to you. The devil can't have the glory. We bring you glory. 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 but then be filled with his spirit to lead and guide us throughout the days of our life. We just want to thank him. Thank you, Lord. Put your hands together and tell him, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As you take your seats, give him one more praise. One more hand praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But now we've come to worship him in our giving. We've already worshiped him with our mouth, our hands, our heart, Everything that we have, we worship him. So, Lord, now we want to come worship you with our giving. And we'll be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, starting with verse 6. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And when you have it, you can say amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. I'll begin 
It says, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So we already heard this for years. We've over and over, we say these wonderful scriptures, and he's talking to you and to me, letting us know, again, which we already know, if we give a little, what's gonna happen? We get back a little. And he said, if you go give bountifully, which means a whole lot, you're gonna reap also bountifully. So God has this plan set up for you and for me to give. Then he says in verse seven, every man that goes for every woman, according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And that part where it says God loveth, he's loving us every time, even when we're not here, he's still yet loving us. And then when we walk through these doors, he's loving us, because what? He knows that we're a cheerful giver. And that cheerful means that we're full of joy, glad about giving to the Lord Jesus Christ. We're giving back because he gave to us. And verse 8, and God is able to make all grace abound for you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. So God is able. He's, he has the ability to do it because he's already done it in our past, right? He's already done it. And that grace he's given us is new every morning. When we got up this morning, we got up with new mercy. It's grace. Grace means unmerited favor. We didn't have to do anything for it. And then he said, you're always having all sufficiency in everything that we do. That means when we need gas money to pay our sale bill, to buy some groceries, to buy some shoes, to pay our rent, to buy clothes, all of those things, he's always supplied for us. We have sufficiency in everything that it may abound to every good work. Verse 9, as it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness remains forever. So God is so good, he has dispersed to abroad to Liberia. He blessed us to bless Liberia. They were poor. They're poor there. They don't have enough clothes. They don't have enough food. We were able to send uh, two containers full of clothes, full of food. God did that. He sent it to the poor. And guess who he used? You and me. Because we do what? We give our tithe and our offerings without being grudgingly, without having an attitude. We're doing it because we love the Lord. And then verse 10 said that, Now that he that ministered seed to the sower, both ministered bread for your food. And ministers means supply. He's supplying to, uh, seeds to the sower, and he's supplying bread to, for our food, for you and for me and multiply your seed so So whatever you sow, he's going to multiply it. If you give 10, he's going to multiply that to 20. You give 100, that'll go to 200. And increase the fruits of your righteousness. He'll cause you to live righteously. Verse 11, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us to give thanksgiving to God, to thank him. I'm excited about that. When I read that, I just lit up. I said, oh, I'm able to thank him. How do I thank him? Every time you come through the church doors, thank you, Lord Jesus. Every time you're able to pay your bill, thank you, Lord Jesus. Every time you receive your paycheck, thank you, Lord Jesus. Every time you do whatever you do, thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm still breathing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When I come to work in the morning, they'll say, good morning, how's your morning? I say, I'm still breathing. <laughs> so I just thank the Lord for I'm still breathing and thank him for everything that he's done for in verse 12, for the administration of the service not only supplies the wants of the saints, but it is abundant also by many thanksgiving unto God. And that word wants means needs. He's able to supply every one of our needs. And remember, whenever you do anything or receive anything, say, thank you, Lord Jesus, because it's God's hand on us, causing us to be able to have whatever we need. And with that is offering time in Axful Gospel Church of God in Christ. And I'm going to try to do cash app. I don't really do that that well, but I'm going to act cash app tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And if you need an offering envelope, you can raise your hand. The ushers will hand one out to you. And we're all ready. And when you're ready, you can just stand. And those that are viewing by social media, this is for you as well. God wants to supply your every need according to his riches and glory. You know how to do your cash app, give a fly, all those things. Oh, give a, is it give a fly or give a pie? <laughs> give a fly. 
through the fly through the electric. <laughs> anyway, give to the Lord Jesus Christ using social media, and God is going to bless you. And was you already with your offerings, you want to lift them up and just say, Lord Jesus. Our Father and our God, we just thank you so much. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Every time we pay a bill, we say thank you. Every time we're able to put food in our mouth, thank you. Every time we wake up in the morning, thank you. Every time we pay our, cast, our, our car notes, every time we put gas in our car, thank you, Lord Jesus, because it's you who did it. So we have many thanksgivings to give to you. So we thank you for this offering tonight. We ask you to press it down, shake it together and cause it to run over, that men will give into our bosom. We believe that you will do that. So we thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you just turn to your left, face the wall, and follow the instructions of the ushers.
tonight, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. We want to be right, Lord Jesus. We want to be right, Lord Jesus. Help us, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Sister Ashley. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Brother Kenny and the musicians. We just thank God right now because we really do want to be right. We want to open up our mouth and begin to praise and thank God for all that he's done for us because we really do want to be right. And he made a way that we can be right. He made a way out of no way for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. We want to be right because he was right by us. He gave and shed his innocent blood so we could live and not die. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. So we can have eternal life. He made a way for us. Thank you, Jesus. We want to be right. We want to be thankful and grateful for all that he's done. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We do want to be right, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Help us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we want to be right, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you as we give you glory and honor. We thank you, God, for all that you've done, how you gave your son, your one and only son, to shed his innocent blood, to wash away our sins. Oh, God, took all those stripes on his back so we could be healed, oh God, so we could be delivered, so we could be made free, God. What a mighty God we serve, Lord Jesus. You look beyond our faults and you saw we had needs, Lord Jesus. You supplied our every need, oh God. You made a way out of no way for us, Lord Jesus. And now we thank you and we praise you, God. We come in your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts, oh God. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We thank you tonight, Holy Spirit. We ask that you take complete control, that you take complete control. You already know what we have need of, God. Oh, God, as we pray for your people and lay hands, God, we want miracles to happen, Lord Jesus. We want them to be healed, delivered, and set free, God. Filled with your spirit. No residue found in them, oh, God. No sin, Lord Jesus. And, God, we give you all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You can be seated if you can. Thank you, Lord Jesus, another Holy Ghost service. We are thanking God. We are thanking God for what he's doing, the changes that he's making in our lives, the growth and the development that we've experienced. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. As we continue to read our Bible, the words and the, what he's saying is becoming more clearer. We understanding better what he's saying. Oh, God, thank you, Lord Jesus. We're seeing things differently than we saw it before. It's jumping off the page. It's clear. God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, as we stay obedient, as we stay seeking him, as we continue to seek him to receive everything that he has in store for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He promised that he will hold nothing from us. He said we will lack nothing. Thank you, Jesus. So we know that God is able and willing to do what we need him to do. He already did the most. He hung on a cross, nails in his hand, pierced in the side, a crown of thorns on his head, feet together, blood everywhere. Innocent blood everywhere. Took all our sins upon him. Separated himself from his father. Hallelujah. Took it. Hallelujah, Lord God. So we could be saved. So we could live a life on this earth according to his will. We need the Holy Spirit to be able to live for today. We need the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us and to teach us to open up our understanding. We need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit to help us, and he knew we needed the Holy Spirit. So he sacrificed his son to come out here, to live, walk this earth, so he could be the sacrifice for all of us. Because he loved us so much, and it was never his plan for us to go to hell. That's not the will of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So he did it all. 
And when we think about that, it's no excuse for us. So we say, Lord, we thank you. It's Holy Ghost service. But if I had to title it today, it would be, How Are Believers Empowered by the Holy Spirit? How are we empowered by the Holy Spirit? Do we really know and recognize who he is? Do we really understand the significance and importance of having his spirit in us? The Holy Spirit, God's spirit to live on the inside of us. Do we recognize who it makes and causes us to become when we have God's spirit? It's nothing like receiving the Holy Ghost. And as he teaches us and lead us and guide us and order our footsteps, we see him in action all the time. We see him making ways out of no way all the time. We see him when you think you're at your lowest, he begins to pick you up and raise you up. Somebody call you with encouragement. Somebody come by and give you something when you don't have nothing. God always make a way for us. You're walking down the street and there it go right there on the ground. He has the birds singing a nice song in the morning when you wake up. They tweeting outside, letting you know God is good. God is good. When we receive the Holy Spirit, all those things matter. It becomes important to us. When we hear the birds, you won't be annoyed because the birds are chirping. You'll be like, thank you, Lord. Thank you for making a way for the birds. Thank you for feeding them every day. You not out there giving them no bread. Some of you may be, but most of us not. So we know God make a way for them each and every day. They're not at the gross food, food for less or whatever it's called. They're not at Costco. They get food and they get taken care of because God loved them. Just like he loved us. How much more do he love us than he loves those birds? and all the animals that he takes care of. God does that. And when you receive the Holy Spirit, you begin to recognize all the things that God does. And it means something to you. And it begins to touch your heart. And your heart begins to say, what a mighty God we serve. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth begins to speak. When you have God's Holy Spirit. So God's Holy Spirit and power Empowered means that he gives us the authority to do something more than we ever could think that we could do. He gives us, us, give us the authority, making us stronger, wiser, smarter. He empowers us to do his will. And it's all by the Holy Spirit. It's nothing to do with us as a person, but it's by his spirit. Instead of the Holy Spirit making the Christian life better, he makes the Christian life possible. See, he don't make it better. He make your life, Christian life, possible. Because without his spirit, it's impossible to live a Christian life. Going to church don't make you a Christian. Going to church don't make you a follower of the Most High God. It just means you discipline and you come to church. But when you become filled with God's Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit changes your life. He gives you new authority. Without the Holy Spirit, we will never be able to live the life that God has for us. We'll never come up to par to where God wants us to be without his spirit. When we understand just that, that'll cause a desire to wake up on the inside of you. You have to desire him. And he's looking at your heart, each and every heart that's in this room. He's looking at your heart and he knows whether or not you desire him. Whether you just coming because this is what you do, you don't have nothing to do on Friday night, so you just come on, hang out with the saints. Or you come seeking more of him, and at the same time, you want to give him more of you because you want to be filled and refilled with God's spirit. Last week, we said we coming tonight to get hands laid on us because we want to be refilled and filled with the Holy Ghost. We want to have our power and our authority. We want to be empowered to do what we need to do. 
So the good news is, no matter where we come from, what job, what business you have, or whatever you think about yourself, your real identity comes from whose you are. Your real identity comes from whose you are, not who, what you do every day, not how many titles you have, not how much they pay you, but the realness of whose you are. My sister, Charlene Jackson, she's going on with the Lord, to be with the Lord right now, Charlene. Charlene taught us that in the beginning of our walk with the Lord, Jesus Christ. It's not who you are, it's whose you are. That means if we are a Christian, then our true identity comes from our relationship with God. Our true identity comes from our relationship with God. It's whose we are. Whose we are. We belong to the Most High God. And nothing can compare. No job, no career, no degrees. Nothing can compare with whose you are. Because whose you are calls you to be able to do all things. Whose you are calls you to call things that are not as though they are. Whose you are calls you to walk upright. Whose you are causes everything you touch to be blessed. Because of whose you are. You belong to the Most High God if only we the people could digest it and all the stuff that they say about us and all the stuff that they try to put us down, try to put the church people down, try to put our race down. You would wake up to righteousness to understand, no, it's whose we are. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We are the head and we not the tail above only. We will never be beneath. We can have whatsoever we say because of whose we are. And when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, God begins to open you up to know who you are. No matter what storm you get in, no matter what happens, it's who you are. Your dependency is not on your identity. It's on who you stand for, what God did, who you are. You are a child of the most high God. And if that doesn't mean anything to you, it has to mean something to you. And the only way it's going to mean something is by the power of the Holy Spirit, making it real down on the inside. Time out for fooling around with folks that don't understand who we are. Time out for being in the backseat all the time. A day late and a dollar short. No, I don't think so. We are the righteousness of Christ Jesus. And we stand tall being ahead. When we open up our mouth to speak, things happen. Because we're empowered by the Holy Ghost. This is why we got to get filled and refilled. You can't depend on yourself and what you think and feel and how you feel about yourself. You have to think how God feel about you. He love us. You high and lifted up. He caused you to be here. He the one breathed the breath of life into us. And we became a living soul. He did that because he loved us. And he made a way. Now it's time for us to realize that. Oh, God. Our true identity depends on our relationship with God. Oh, Lord Jesus. When you know you belong to him. It changes how you live your life. When you know that you belong to him, it changes how you think. When you know you belong to him, when you know without a shadow of a doubt, when you know and you're not second guessing, should I, should not, should I, should not. You're not second guessing on who you are. Because you know God said he'll never leave you nor will he forsake you. He's with you always. Had your protection around you. He said you are lack nothing. No weapon. We quote all those favorite scriptures. But then we ducking and dodging on every corner. We don't want to come out at night. We don't want to do what, what, what we could do. Because uh, uh, something may happen. When he told you. I didn't save you with a spirit of fear. I saved you to receive my spirit, my Holy Spirit, so you could do all things. No spirit of fear is going to get you. 
How is that? I told you to be a good courage. I've already overcome this world. If only we could listen to what he's already said and receive his spirit so the spirit can make it come alive in our spirit. So we'll understand that we can really do what God say. Everything we need is already in the Bible. Everything we need is already there. But we have to believe God. And we have to trust God. And you have to know who you are. So when we stand, we stand in not on our identity. We standing on the most high God. The one that spoke and it was. That one that spoke and everything came. The one that took the dust off the ground and made a man in his own image. The one that made the muscles and the fingernails and our hair, our ears, our teeth, everything. He give us the power to be a child of God. Because he wants you to know who you are. Hold your head up, men. You a child of God. Why is your head hung down? You can have whatsoever you say when you humble yourself and ask and desire to be filled with the Spirit of God. God will fill you up. And you get a wife, and guess what he says? You find favor with God when you have a wife. When you live single, thinking about only yourself, you ain't living the life God has. God says when you find a wife, you find favor with God. Not only do you have and receive the Holy Spirit, but you got something called favor. Even when you're a little short, God will make it right. Thank you, Lord. So much in store for us. No reason for us to live below our means. We're not teaching the word of God some kind of way to cause you to always be in the back seat somewhere, toe up. We're teaching the word of God the way God wants us to know who he is. He wanted the Gentiles to know we are the Gentiles being grafted in. God did that for us. Why? Because he loved us. Why? Because he has a plan for our life. The Bible says in Ephesians, let's just take a look. Hallelujah. But I wanted that information to get out first. I wanted you to hear about who you are. I wanted you to know that Sister Charlene taught us that when we first got saved. Who's we? I think she even had a song. But the bottom line is we can't be forgetting about what we already learned. Who's we are. We got to continue to pass it down. The ones that didn't get that opportunity to be with Sister Charlene, we got to tell you. We got to make it clear. We got to live it for you so you can see something's different about us. But if we going along with the program, we laying over here like we all messed up too. Oh, poor us. Ain't no poor us. All silver and gold belong to our Father. We good to say it. But when it comes down to it, do we believe it? We got to believe it. We got the faith to believe it. You believe that peanut butter was peanut butter when you gobbled it up. You didn't check it. That same faith caused you to believe God is who he is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Ephesians, and, and Paul is teaching and preaching to the Gentiles. And I believe that God chose Paul to preach and teach to the Gentiles because he need, Paul did all that stuff. So he needed to go back and to help people that God wanted into his kingdom, to help them because he persecuted and he did a bunch of stuff before that. But then he had to go back and be a help and minister. And that's why when you get saved, the majority of the time, you have to go back and minister to the very thing you used to do that was all ugly and how you took advantage. And now you back telling them about Jesus Christ being Lord. When you get filled with the Holy Spirit, there don't be any shame in you. 
because you know you have been forgiven. And if your sins are forgiven, they are not remembered anymore. So you can go back and talk to others about your life experiences without feeling like you can't tell them because they're going to talk about you. The devil already knew it. He already told them, but God came in and forgave you. You can't hide nothing from the devil. He ain't everywhere at the same time, but he got a bunch of demons. And they increased. And they watching and they looking. But God. But God, thank you, Lord Jesus, when we receive his spirit on the inside, when we full of the Holy Ghost, we can speak to the demon, and he has to obey what you say. Not you, the person, but the Holy Spirit that's speaking through you. We get stuff twisted all, yeah, we lay hands on somebody, and they begin to speak, and tell, we all, who. <laughs> If you don't get out of here, if the Holy Ghost wouldn't have moved on that person, they would still be the same. It ain't nothing in us. It's the power of the Holy Ghost that move on our behalf when we're lining up according to his word. We have to line up, but it's a good thing. The Bible says, Ephesians 3, so he's talking to the Gentiles. And then he goes on to say, let's pick it up with 13. He says, you have it? He says, wherefore I desire that you faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. In other words, he's telling them, listen, I'm going through things. He, he get in trouble. He get thrown in jail. He get all kind of stuff. But he said, don't faint. Don't, don't, don't look at what I'm going through because I'm, I'm going to be all right. He says, for this cause, he, well, he wants us to know, he wanted them to know, things going to happen. And we need to take that for 2023. Things going to happen. It ain't going to always look like a piece of cake. But don't trip. It's supposed to happen. But you're supposed to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Not on your own accord trying to work something out, thinking you're working for God. And you don't have no power. No authority. And you halfway not even believe it because you don't know whose you are. When you recognize whose you are, then you ask God to fill you with the Holy Ghost. He ain't holding nothing good back from you. He wants you to be filled with his spirit. Why would he give his son to go through all of that? If he didn't want you to be filled with his spirit to have the power that you need. And then he says... The Bible says, for this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, it's Paul speaking, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. The whole family in heaven and earth is named. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. This is what Paul is teaching to the Gentiles. This is what they pray every time they get up to pray. That he would grant you, that God would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in your inner man. Your inner man is the soul, your soul. He wants you to be strengthened with might, strengthened inside your soul, made strong, empowered. This is how he's teaching them. He says that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you be rooted and grounded in love, that the Lord Jesus Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. He wants the Lord Jesus Christ to dwell in your hearts. God want to dwell in your hearts. We say he's in our hearts by faith. And that causes us to be rooted and grounded in love, not hate, not gossip. Not misery, not backbiting, not cheating, not lying. In love, that we may be able to comprehend with all saints. He made a difference. Not all people. He said all saints. What is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height? He wanted us to be able to comprehend with each other, to be relatable to each other, 
to be able to talk and to agree with each other. Why? Because we all have the Holy Spirit in us and we know whose we are. We belong together. So we're able to comprehend and, and talk together and to live in peace with each other. We're able to do that when we get full of the Holy Ghost. You don't have no complaints about your sister, about your brother. You're not talking about nobody because you're happy to be saved. You're happy that they saved. It brings you joy to know that your family is saved. And then it says, 19, and to know the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, which past knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. And we look at that word and say, so we could be filled. So what is filled? It's filled and filled. So we could be filled with all the fullness of God. So we could feel some kind of way. So we could feel like we so important. So we could feel like what? So we could feel like this. So we could feel like sometimes we feel like a nut and sometimes we don't. So we could feel, no, he's saying filled, meaning filled up, F-I-L-L-E-D. That means filled, you filled with the Holy Spirit. You filled with all the fullness of God, filled with him. Not just feeling because you feel good. I feel good. I was at church. I feel good. No, you filled with all the goodness because the Holy Spirit is living in you. You feel with his spirit. You feel with power. You feel with authority. You feel with God's love. You filled. Thank you, Jesus. And then we go out and we share that good news with other people. And they too get saved. God works in our inner being. He works in our soul. He's not concerned about how sharp you look. On how you got red bottom shoes on. He don't care about none of that. What he care about is your soul. What he care about is your soul. Do you understand how important you are to him? The Bible tells us the Lord don't care about that. If you write it down, 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. The Bible says the Lord sees man, the Lord sees man not as man see man. The Lord looks on the heart. He's looking on our hearts. And he's looking at us by looking at our hearts. He's understanding. We need to understand that it's the most important part of our lives to God when he look at our heart and he see the love of God down on the inside. He see us praising him. He see us wanting and desiring to have more of him. He see us desiring to be filled with the Holy Spirit. He see us wanting to do the right thing. And guess what? It's not hard and he's not going to hold back. It's not hard and he's not holding back. He focuses on our souls, that inner man. That's where he starts that change process. We're talking about being full of the Holy Ghost, being filled and refilled. He starts that change process, that change to strengthen us. He strengthens our soul by his spirit. He strengthens us and causes us to become new in him. Takes out that old stony heart and gives us a brand new heart of flesh where he writes his word in the Holy Spirit connects with our heart. Out of the abundance of our heart, our mouth is speaking, but the Holy Spirit is connected. So the things we say are things pertaining to the kingdom of God. No more are we talking about garbage and trash. No more are we connected with people that's putting other folks down and lifting up the devil. We blame so much on the devil. All we do all day is glorify the devil. And cause his kingdom to grow and prosper. Because the devil, the devil. And it wouldn't be like that once we get full of the Holy Ghost. We'll be able to give God the glory. And God says in all things to give thanks. That's his will concerning us. So when the tribulations come, when the trials come, when we're feeling down, when we're feeling low, when we feel bad, God said to give thanks. And if we could just obey, we would have a life of joy, of peace. 
on this earth. Not talking about the life we have after this. But we'd have it right here. Because it would be nothing that could shake us up. Nothing. Nothing. And I studied. I had to take my dog to the to the pet care, the dog groomer, because he need a bath. Me and my husband took the dog. And the dog's acting up because he didn't want no bath. He was in there going wild. And we had, to, we, had we left him in there. They took him. They didn't want to take him, but they did. So when I was backing out the car, because I was driving, I was backing out the, the parking lot, the, 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 where I was parked. But it's this, this lady and this man, and they was walking. They was like, I don't know if they were Caucasian or Latino, I don't know, but they was walking. I guess they was walking because when I was back, started backing up, they wasn't there. Then they just walked, and they gonna just keep on walking while I was backing up. So I stopped, and then she was turning around saying something, using profanity. So I just kept, exactly. I just kept doing what I was supposed to minding my business, doing what I was supposed to be. But when I backed up, when I turned back around, I backed up and I bumped into the car that was in the back. <laughs> but it's just a little bump, not a big bump. She was like, you hit that car. You got them scratches on that car. She was out there blasting. And then the, and then the dude that was with her, he was Caucasian, he going to say, if it was my car, I'll call the police. So, I said, you saw me backing up and you continued to walk. So, obviously, you knew you were in the way. Then you start to use profanity towards us. And I don't care if you call the police, the fire department, or the hospital. You can call anybody you want to call. But that was the best I could do. And I walked up on her, and I just looked in her eyes. And guess what? I didn't pass my test. Because none of the stuff I supposed to have said, the flesh was very active right there. I didn't do what I normally would have done. I was thanking God for that. Not one, per, not no bad words, not no ugly, no name calling. None of that came out of my mouth or my husband's mouth. All we said was, we don't care who you call. The man showed up, whose car it was. He walked up. It was the same man I was talking to in the dog place. He was already my best friend. And I said, I bumped into your car. And he said, there's nothing on my car. It was nothing, not no scratches, not no nothing. He said, there's nothing. And I looked at her. I didn't say nothing. I just looked at her. And they just went on and walked away. But immediately, when we learn better, immediately we're going to be tested. And that's why I'm telling you. I didn't pass. My, if I passed, if God allowed me to pass, I probably passed with an F minus. Because I did respond. I didn't do what I normally do. So he probably gave me a few credits for that. Because I would have had her head. Who are you? Who made you the law? I would have been not just walking up. I just walked up a little bit on her to let her know, call whoever you want. And I just got away, got in the car, and went on. But I'm telling you that to say, the enemy... He already knew what I was going to minister on because I was practicing in my house. So when I write it down, I say it. So I had to go through a time of testing. I didn't do good. But I didn't fail all the way either. But I'm doing better. And I'm progressing. And I'm not going to try to stand up here and act like I'm going to tell some lies. I'm not. I ain't made it there yet. But I'm trying every day. To do better than I did yesterday. I'm trying every day to pass my test. 
Lord Jesus, I want you to see a clean heart in me. I want you to see a right spirit. I want people to know. I should have been telling her, do you know that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you? Do you know that he died for you? It all comes to you when you get in a car. And that's why I'm here on Fridays. Because I need more of him. And I need to give him more of me. Lord Jesus, take it all away. It ain't no overnight transition. You have to work on that thing. You have to ask God, take it out by the root. We raise up in Brookfield, Camel Village. Bishop talk about it all the time. And you got to do what you got to do. But we ain't got to do what we got to do because we have a king of kings and the Lord of lords that already did it all for you and for me to live the overcoming life. We have to accept what he's already done and get it down in our spirit. And I said, Lord Jesus, help me, God. I can't do it without you. Lord, I want to give you more of me, more of me, more, God. I don't care what the devil tried. I'm not breaking down to no devil, and neither am I giving him credit. We will not live like that. We will get powered up to live our lives for the Lord Jesus. But God is so merciful and so good. I had on an old jean coat I had put on. And when I reached my hand in my pocket, it was a $50 bill. In my pocket. I didn't even know where it came from. But that's how God let us know. I want you to keep going. Keep trying. Keep working. Keep preaching. Keep believing. Keep trusting. Keep asking for the Holy Spirit. Just keep on going. You're going to make it. That was encouraging. To have that in my coat pocket. So I'm telling you tonight. God is ready, and he's willing, and he's able to cause you to know whose you are. And if I just would have realized whose I was, I wouldn't even have gave that devil no attention. Why would I lower my standard unless I'm going to tell him about the Lord Jesus Christ? No other reason. No other reason. He says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. We don't have to fight no battle, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with nobody. We have to trust and believe. So tonight, we want to get filled and refilled with the Holy Ghost. God wants us to be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. He wants to make himself at home in our temple. So much so that when things like that happen, immediately our response would have been different. Immediately, our response would have been encouraging. We would have witnessed right away. He wants to make his self comfortable in us. And he wants to do it by his spirit. So we need more of him, and we need to give him more of us. And we need to stand in agreement with his word and what he's already said. We don't have to make up nothing new. We got to agree with what God has already said. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and that door going to be open. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I ain't holding nothing back. Nothing. And when we pray tonight, I'm going to lay hands on you and somebody going to lay hands on me. Because we all in it together to receive more of him and willing to give him more of us in Jesus' name. We want to be full of the fullness of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's why Paul told us, if we confess with our mouth, Romans 10 and 9, believe in our heart, God raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. Confession. When we confess, I just confessed right before you. Confession. Now the enemy can't torment me with that. He can't even do nothing about it. Because it's already confessed. What if you was parked over there? You saw me. It don't make no difference. You saw me doing pretty good, though. <laughs> but I'm doing better. I want to do better. I don't even want the thought to come into my mind. 
because it did try to come into my mind just how I taught my kids to t take your, it did try to creep out. I was like, get out of here. And I zipped it. I didn't say nothing. Probably a little late, but I still didn't say nothing. I said a little bit, but not a lot. But I'm selling you. But I'm going to hit a home run because I'll be tested again. And I will hit a home run in Jesus' name. But you will too because we all together. We call the family. And we seeking God together. And we want to be filled with the Holy Ghost and refilled with his power, empowered by him. And last week we were on obedience. We want that Holy Ghost obedience. I want my Holy Ghost obedience to increase in my life so I don't have no afterthoughts. I don't have no thoughts in my mind. Nothing but good. Love and kindness, that's how he draw. How much better would my testimony would have been? And the girl was cussing me out. And I went over there and said, girl, I love you. Come on. And she became a Christian. But did I do that? No. Because your natural flesh is very much alive. And the only way, the only way we even have a chance is by his spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will shut you down, cause you to be quiet. So you can understand what God wants to do in your life and whose you are. We could use our power and our authority. We ain't like the world. And every day God is showing us that. So right now we want to get ready. We want to get ready to receive the Holy Ghost. We want to get ready to get in the line. Part two next week we're going to be on the enemy. Because we tired of the enemy tap dancing. We, we tired of him showing up and we messing up. We going to live our life this week. I ain't having no mess ups. The devil will not get my goal. As soon as I got over one hurdle, I was doing, I'm doing really good. I'm the best Susie homemaker ever. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And now I got other hurdles to cross it just like you. Because we going to grow in grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. So come on, we're going to lay hands tonight, and we praying for those that are sick in their bodies. If anyone is sick in their bodies, we're going to have a special prayer. we praying for the ones that are grieving their loved ones, the loss of their loved ones. we praying for Sister Jackie O's family. We'll be praying for um, Pastor George Matthews' family. His mom passed. We're praying for Mother Hall family. Mother Hall passed. So we have a lot of things that we're going to be praying for, and we believe in God for all of it. And we know that God is able and willing. So tonight I want you in a good place. I want your mind free. I want you open to God. Make your mind up right now that you want to live your life for him. I want you to open up your mouth right now and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. For all my sins, I believe that you died on the cross, that you were buried. And on the third day, God the Father raised you from the dead. And right now, Lord Jesus, I open the door to my heart and I receive you into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And now, Lord Jesus, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Now stay right there. Now, and now you begin to praise him. Just praise him softly. Just get your mind stayed on him. He'll put you in perfect peace. Come on, we got to thank him and praise him. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right now, God, right now, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. Here we go, the dynamic three. Huh? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And you guys will help them. Oh, no. You guys can. Oh, yeah, because you got to send them, and you'll be praying with the people, okay? So, Father God, we thank you and praise you for all that you've done, all that you're getting ready to do, and all that you will do. And right now, you two right here, it's on our hearts. 
it has been on our hearts and we know that you're moving up into ministry and that is and so are you Heather that is that you can become foundation teachers hallelujah I need you to think about it I need you to make a decision and come to training class at 10 o'clock after 8 o'clock service on Sundays training class and you become a foundation teacher then your boy will be right there the goal of ministry ain't so for you you want to go into ministry amen about it and see what God's saying. It just pressed on me right now to tell you both at the same time. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. sister God father God right now you already yeah. know what she have need of God Thank you. we want you to fill her with your spirit Lord Jesus yeah. out of her belly will flow rivers of living water Lord Jesus we need more of you as she give you all of her God in the name of Jesus Lord Jesus right now raise her up for your glory for your honor this day God thank you for her faithfulness Lord Jesus thank you for her obedience God Oh, God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that every stripe you took was for her to be healed. And as she walk in perfect healing, oh, God, right now, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, sis. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay. Come on. And, and um, come on, Ashley. right now lord jesus we give you glory and we give you honor right now lord jesus lord jesus this is your humble servant god and as you raise her up for your glory and for your honor lord jesus as you raise her up oh god to teach and to preach your word lord jesus lord jesus right now we thank you and we praise you lord jesus lord as she has more of you and she gives more of herself to you to your people god Father God, we thank you for her today, and we ask that you do a special work in her life, oh God. You increase like never before, and as I lay my hands on her, you already know what's in her heart, Lord. You know the desires of her heart, Lord Jesus. You know everything that's going on, God. Father God, you know the sadness that comes, Lord. You know the disappointments that come, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, right now, God. Move right now, Holy Spirit. Move right now, Lord Jesus. Move right now, Lord. Right now, Lord Jesus. By your spirit, God. By your spirit, God. By your spirit, God. By your spirit, God. Yay, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you right now, Lord Jesus. We praise you right now, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, right now, as you fill him a little, as you fill him up, God. As you fill him up, Lord Jesus. As you fill him up, God. Power, authority. Right now, Lord Jesus. Perfect health, God. Lord Jesus, you said it would be prosperous and in health, even as his soul prosper. God, right now, he's a house bonder, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, so he finds favor with you, Lord. And we thank you right now for what you're doing in his life. We thank you for his family, God, his loved ones, Lord Jesus. Lord, that he be the light to his family, to his people, Lord Jesus. And, Lord, as I lay my hands on him, Lord Jesus, right now, that you empower him by your spirit, God. By your spirit, God. In the name of Yah, I am a shikama hakama tikwa. In the name of Jesus. Shikama bati ma karamo ni be mo wa shiki mo 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 la karamo sa na karamo. Yeah yeah, mo mo shiki mi mo shiki na anya na karamo mo shiki. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah mo 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 shiki ya karamo sa. Yes Lord, more of you, Lord Jesus. More of you, Lord Jesus. More of you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we praise you right now, Lord Jesus. 
Glory, and we're giving you honor, Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing right now, Lord Jesus. We thank you for the newness of life. We thank you for the faithfulness. We thank you, Lord Jesus, right now, oh God. Father God, you already know everything. You already know what she has need of before she even asks you. You already know that you're making a way out of no way, God. That you're raising them up to be the light, God. Oh God, that you're going to use them, Lord Jesus. Use her, Lord God, like never before. And as I lay my hands, I Oh, Lord Jesus, right now, God. Lord Jesus, right now, God. Lord Jesus, right now, God. Fill her up, God. Oh, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. She giving more of herself to you, Lord. More of herself to you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Your perfect will be done. Your perfect will. In the name of Jesus. The name that's above every name. The name that's above every name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Careful, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we praise you right now. Lord, we give you glory, God. Lord, we give you honor, Lord Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing right now, oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We ask that you bless God. Bless our brother, Lord Jesus, as you raise him up for your glory, God. As he stands in faith, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, right now, give him a made-up mind, God. Give him a made-up mind, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, right now, oh God, we thank you. And we praise you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, right now, God. He's repented his sins, Lord Jesus. Now, God, he needs you more, Lord. He needs to be full of your spirit, God. He needs you to lead him and to guide him and to teach him. To open up his understanding even more, oh God. To understand, Lord Jesus, what it means to really be saved. What it means to really be a man of God. What it means to be a house binder. He will be, Lord Jesus. And Lord, right now, Lord God, Holy Spirit, as you teach him, as you groom him, as you help him, God. Right now, Lord Jesus, as I lay my hands on him, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. God, let the living water, come on, come on, Lord Jesus. Let the living waters flow. Let the living waters flow. Let them flow, God. Let them flow, God. Baptize them in the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. Baptize them, Lord Jesus. Baptize them, Lord Jesus. Baptize them, Lord Jesus. Them, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Yes. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. This is your humble servant, God. As you fill her up and refill her, God. As you open the eyes of understanding, as you give her the opportunities, God. And the desires of our heart, Lord Jesus. Lord, that you are bless her, God. You will raise her up, Lord Jesus, as she lives her life for you, Lord Jesus. Spread you the good news of the gospel, God, as I lay my hands on her in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless her, God. Bless her, God. Strength, God. Strengthen her, Lord Jesus. Strengthen her right now, Lord Jesus. 
strengthen her right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify you. We appreciate you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you right now, Holy Spirit. As you continue to work the miracle in Jackie, God. As you continue to raise her up to newness of life. As you continue, Holy Spirit, to have your way, oh God. Have your way right now, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, right now, God. You know everything about her. You know exactly what she has need of. You know everything, Lord Jesus. And now, God, as we place her in your hands, Holy Spirit, that you will have your way as she gives more of herself to you. More of herself to you. In the name of Jesus, God. 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 In your name, Lord Jesus. In your name, Lord Jesus. In your name, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your name, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And we thank you. And we giving you glory, God. And we giving you honor, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, right now, Lord Jesus. 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 As you do a new thing, God. As you raising them up. As you raising them up to do a new thing, God. Giving him courage and boldness to stand on your word. And as I lay my hands on him, Lord Jesus, whatever is in his temple, God, that's not like you, Holy Spirit. Take it completely out and never to come back. In the name of Jesus. God, right now, we thank you, Lord, and we praise you, Lord Jesus. We ask that you continue to bless him, continue to help him and teach him and guide him. Holy Spirit, fill him up. Fill him up, Lord Jesus. Open up your mouth wide. Open up your mouth out of your belly. Shall flow rivers of living water. Open it wide. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. That's him. I can see him right there. Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, speak to him. Come on, speak to him. Come on, speak to him. Open up, open up. Let him speak through you. Let him speak through you. Don't think, don't think. Just open your mouth and begin to speak directly. He's been waiting to talk to you. He's been waiting to talk to you. He's been waiting to talk to you. He didn't save you with no spirit of fear, power, love, and a sound mind. Now open up your mouth and talk to him. He's been waiting to talk to you. Oh, he's been waiting to talk to you. Ungrit your teeth and talk to him. Open it up. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Right now, Lord Jesus, as he wants to feel you. He wants to feel you. He wants to feel you. Hallelujah. That's him. Come on. Come on. Come on. You could you. He's filling you up. You going to have power and authority, courage, boldness, wisdom, knowledge. This is what he wants to do in your life by his spirit. It's only one way to get it done. By his spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, God. Yes, come on. You need that breakthrough. Let Come on, break through it. Break through it. God didn't save you with no fear. Just continue to praise him. Just right there. Just go to the altar and continue to praise him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus. right now God and we thank you right now for Kinsley's father God 
We thank you right now, hallelujah, Lord God, that you placed him with a father, Lord Jesus, a father that's going to love him, a father that's going to be there for him, a father that's going to speak life into his spirit right now, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We thanking you for who you are. We thanking you, Lord Jesus, for raising him up. Now open up your mouth and begin to say, Lord Jesus, Lord you, Lord Jesus. Come on, you open up your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, as you call on that name, come on, Lord Jesus, it strengthens you, strengthens you in your inner man, gives you power and authority, and he keeps you in perfect peace, regulating your mind as your mind stay on him. You have to say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Let that be what you say every day. Lord Jesus, when you call on the name of the Lord Jesus, he said you shall be saved, whatever's going on, whatever's happening. He said you will be saved in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for uniting this family, God. Thank you for uniting this family together, God, that they will walk as one, oh God. We're giving you glory right now, Lord Jesus. We're giving you honor right now, Lord Jesus, that they will walk as one. Thanking you for the mama, Lord God. Asking that you bless her like never before. Lord Jesus, right now, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. God, that you will bless her, Lord Jesus. That you will raise her up, God. Giving her eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. That she will stand. Stand, God. Stand. God, put her in a chair. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We thank you right now, Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing right now in her life, God. We thank you for leading and guiding her in the bathroom. We thank you for having your way, God. We thank you for no matter what it looks like to just you live by faith. Lord Jesus, right now, that you strengthen her in her inner man, that you raise her up for your glory, for your honor. Lord Jesus, right now, God, as she cry out to you, you hear her cry, God. You hear her cry, God. You hear her cry, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 That will lead us and guide us. These are they that will lead us and guide us, God. So we ask that you put a special blessing on them, God. These are they, God. They are little lambs right now, Holy Spirit. But you will raise them up for your glory, for your honor. And Lord, they'll preach in the gospel. They'll teach the gospel. They'll share the good news with others, God. As we go on to be with you, Lord Jesus, they'll be the ones that will take our place. Lord Jesus, and I ask that you bless them now you help them right now, God, that you keep a watch over them. Lord Jesus, right now, we ask God that you seal them with the promise, God. They seal with your promise, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, as you bless her, Lord Jesus, as she's at school, God, that all you bring back to her memory, all the tests and all the things that she must do. Holy Spirit, that you have your way, oh God. You have the plan for their lives, God a plan that they are prosper, a plan that they will be women of God, a plan, Lord Jesus. So we thank you for her mama, God. We thank you for their mama, Lord Jesus, for raising them up. We thank you right now as we lay hands on you, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, that you raise them up in a way that they should go. And when they get old, they will not depart, that you keep the faith and stand boldly on the word of God. No matter what it look like, you call things that are not as though they are. And you stand and you love and you be tender hearted towards them because God's going to use them for his glory and for his honor. This day we seal it to you, Lord Jesus, right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Your perfect will be done. Your perfect will. In Jesus' name, God. You know how she feels in her heart, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, give her the desires of her heart. Heal the pain, God, and take it away. Right now, 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord God. 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 Hallelujah, Lord God.
How you doing today? Good. Thank you, Lord. What you want me to do? Thank you, we thank you, we thank you for your miracle working. We thank you for your love, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that he has faith to stand on your word. We thank you that his eyes is getting better. We thank you that he's beginning to see better, God. And we give you glory, God. We give you honor, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing in this life. We thank you for the mighty miracle that you've already worked, God. And as he believed, Lord, every step he takes is ordered by you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way every time he blinked, God. Open him, God. Clear God. Clear God. Clear God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. As you fill him up, God. Fill him with your spirit, Lord Jesus. Fill him with your spirit, God. Out of his belly, God. Shall flow rivers of living water. God, he needs to be filled with your spirit. Fill him with your spirit, Lord Jesus. Fill him up, Lord. Fill him up, Lord Jesus. And God, we give you all the glory, all the honor for his determination, for him coming, coming every Friday, coming to receive from you, Lord Jesus. Coming because he believes you, because he trusts you. Oh, God, have your way. Thank you, Lord. you lord we give you glory god we thank you for what you're doing we thank you lord jesus we thank you how you made a way god we thank you lord jesus how she's trusting you more every day god as she's depending on you lord jesus and lord jesus right now we ask that you have your way god have your way in her life oh god opening up the eyes of her understanding even more lord jesus that she make a decision that she want to be filled with your spirit lord filled with your spirit oh god that she can have power and authority lord jesus recognizing whose she is whose she is god that she belongs to you lord jesus and we thank you for her god we thank you for Estelle, God. We thank you for her being here with us, God, year after year, God. We thank you for her life, God. We ask that you bless her like never before, oh God, that all her coming is not in vain. Lord, that you raise her up for your glory, God, for your honor, Lord Jesus. Through it all, she comes to us, God. Through it all, she stands, oh God. Through it all, she's here in the name of Jesus. So God, we thank you and we praise you for her. That your perfect will be done in her life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Estelle. Thank you for being a supplier of her every need. Thank you for being her way maker. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now Estelle, just begin to say, Lord Jesus. Come on. Come on, Lord Jesus. Come on, Lord Jesus. So out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. We need the living waters to flow. Come on, Estelle. Lord Jesus. Come on, Lord Jesus. Come on, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord surely in this place let him do what he wants to do and if you gotta go we understand this is the benediction amen who bless your name 
Now unto him who is able to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and Holy Ghost power both now and forever. What I say unto one, I say unto all, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen.